Zero. You can see the shards of graphite, slivers of graphite that's stuck into the Kevlar glove. Um, we're going to pull this glove apart and see if it actually um, penetrated the glove. But here's, that's the arrow we shot into it. Now we're pulling it apart. We had an apple in it. You can see the apple's broken. But look, there's no graphite in the apple. So, tell me it's bruised quite a bit. Uh, it would have bruised your hand up. Well, let's look inside the glove. I don't. You can see the apple in there, but I don't see any graphite splinters. And this is real time. There's no, no pausing here. Yeah, it's clean. It's very perfectly clean. Look at that. Not a hole. We've shot that a couple times. See that that patch right there? That line. You can see. That's actually where the Kevlar patch is at, and there is no holes through that. That's what was shot into it. That's your hand. May have bruised, <laughs> but none of this would have been inside your hand. You can see on the hand right there of the shooter, that's the actual glove. Non-labeled, of course. This was a few generations back, but you can see that's what, what you'll be using. And this will be your results. Here we've got a broken, a broken arrow here. Um, we actually broke this with some pliers, and there's just our our gloves um, filled with ballistic gel. You can see that's an example of what's inside the gel. Uh, represents flesh. That's the glove. That's an unprotected hand with the gel in it. You can you can see that that hand was penetrated very well. We're just gonna back up here. Now we're gonna take another shot into the Kevlar armored handguard here. So now we're gonna finish here. We're gonna shoot the second one. Everybody look out. They're correct. We should have a deflection here. You ready? Ready on one, two. Got a deflection. Apparently, that is exactly what it is supposed to do. It worked. Can we shoot a second one? Anybody for a second one? Let's go for a second one. Second one. And the arrow's in worse condition this time. Our shooter has got a Kevlar armored handguard still on. You can see. That arrow is in worse condition. That is after it impacted that glove. Here we go again. This is the second shot, guys. Deflection! I'm going to need safety glasses, boys. That was intense. Here we go. We're going. This is going to be the third time in shooting to that glove. We're actually using a heavier arrow this time. We got a Woo! perfect deflection. You can actually see there's graphite shards all over down there. I'm gonna run down there and pick this thing up. Let's see what we got. That was the impact right there. And you can see this is our first impact, second, and there's our third. Once again, finger in the glove. No feeling of any anything abnormal. I mean, fingers clean, guys. I'm convinced. All right, we're taking another shot. This is the fourth, second shot into the ungloved hand. You can see if that was your hand. You have a bad day, guys. You ready? 
shooting the green one again. All right, now let's go ahead and just let's just shoot one right into the other above at the same time here. Alright, real time guys, this is the fourth shot into that other glove, into the Protex Armored Handguard. Any questions? Did you see that? Alright, boys. One, two, three, four. This is the most recent one right there. Stick my hand in there again. You can see, we don't have any holes through. Hi, my name is Anthony with Shooting Edge Technology. As you've just witnessed, you've just watched the Protec Tevlar Armored Handguard deflect four different arrows, as well as the one we did in October, that you didn't see the arrow hitting it, but you've seen the, the arrow, that, that white glove that was shot four times. I just wanted to explain to you guys some of the features of the glove, show you what the packaging looks like, so you know what it's going to look like when you get into the store. And you can see that there. So that's the glove. Now as you know, this glove protects back your hand from misfired arrows. Um, this glove is going to reduce the torque on the bow handle because of the pad on the bottom here, which is one of the, um, one of the factors of misfired arrows. And it's got a quiet, soft, durable construction. So it's not going to make any noise, and it's going to keep your hand from slipping on the bow, which is one, is one of the means of uh, misfired arrows for that torque we're talking about here. So I'm going to explain a few things with the glove. So as you can see, there's three layers of Kevlar right there. It's got a Velcro strap, okay? One thing that most people don't realize with fingerless gloves, they are hard to get off. So we've installed two straps on the ring finger and the middle finger to pull the glove off. You see that? Just like that. With those little straps there. So the glove is the best means to protect your hand from misfired arrows. Now I just wanted to, everybody suspects that, you know, the glove's going to keep you safe, but you need to know your safety rules. And BowSafe recommends that you flex your arrows after every shot. I need to emphasize that. After every shot, especially if they've come in contact with the arrows. Now. We at um, Shooting Edge Technology have found, as expert witnesses over the years, that the arrows break in common places. Most of your breaking is going to occur from the, the, fletched, the fletching area to the label, most likely due to impacts from other arrows or um, other objects during the shooting. So I always emphasize that area when, when testing. Proper testing. Take the end of the arrow. Watch the point. If there's a point on the arrow. Flex it, flex it, flex it, flex it, flex it. If you feel comfortable, run your finger over the shaft, okay? Pay attention to the fletched area. The fletched area, the veins will hold on to the arrow even if it's broken. If it's broken, it's not going to come apart. So emphasize that area. Flex about the mid part of the label, like that. Make sure the knock isn't damaged. You want what you want to look for on the knock end is make sure the ears aren't damaged, meaning that they're not bent. Pull the knock out. Look inside it. Make sure the not end of the knock end of the um, arrow on the knock end is not broken. Look for cracks. Smash in your fingers a little bit. You can even put the knock in there a little bit. 
bend it back and forth slightly. If, it, if it's broken, it's going to open up. You'll notice it immediately. All right. The other things that Bow Safe recommends that um, causes misfired arrows is the bow itself. Okay. So common things we need to check on the bow. Bow Safe is recommending that you check your bow at the pro shop. Have the pro shop check it twice a year. And after every incident where the bow has come into damage, such as if it's rolled off the quad, fallen on the ground somehow, you, fall, you fell on it in the woods, make sure that you get that check afterwards. Always check your cams. Make sure the cams aren't bent. Make sure the nuts into the riser here aren't bent. Check the strings. Make sure the strings are in good condition. Always wax well. Uh, manufacturer, string manufacturers recommend you replace your string every two to three years. Get your pro shop's opinion on that. Make sure your arrow rests are intact. Make sure they're safe. And that the arrows can't get jammed in there. We always recommend that the arrow, Bow Safe recommends the arrow to be at least at full draw to the end of the riser. Common arrows that are um, misfired and broken are going to get jammed in between the arrow rest and the riser because they're too short. Is one of the one of the reasons they do jam up. And so it's always best to give yourself a little bit extra length and go that full length to the end of the riser. So those are the the bow safe recommended um, safety tips that you can use to keep yourself safe. First and foremost, always wear your Protex Kevlar Armor handguard. That's going to protect you in case of accidents occur that you've seen today. Um, we are providing um, some other options to help you with, with the protection. There's going to be some handguards, um, some other arm guards coming out as well as a few new handguard features coming in the future. So watch for that. Make sure you take a look at our website. You can find new dealers on there. We're adding new dealers every day. Thank you again. And my name is Anthony, and I hope to hear from you soon.